Hello everyone, in this video we're going to have a look at setting up motion matching for Game Creator 2. Motion matching is an advanced animation system that elevates your player animations to those of AAA games. Famously used in the Assassin's Creed games for example, motion matching is a system that scans a database of poses to find the best one that matches your current player's trajectory. So instead of you defining every step of the movement, with obviously a lot of limitations, motion matching does it itself in a continuous fashion, blending the poses for the best outcome. Despite there being several motion matching assets for Unity in general, getting those to work with Game Creator 2 by default is practically impossible, and I've tried. Not only that, but being able to use this in correspondence to your game is quite difficult. Treepeat Games has created a controller for motion matching, parkour, and a plugin that will allow you to use this with Game Creator 1 or 2. So let's have a look. I've already installed most of the dependencies here, and a fair warning there are quite some dependencies. Future updates of motion matching locomotion controller will reduce some of them, however, it will be at a cost of some of the results. When it comes to the outcome, there's no denying that you simply can't beat the results of motion matching. Uh, Unity has tried to do it themselves a couple of years ago with Kinematica, quite controversial, but they ended up just giving up on it because they couldn't get the results right. Luckily, we can. So just keep in mind, yes, there is some investments. However, this is pretty much the only way you can really get those triple A animation results. So it's up to you if that's worth it or not. So I've already imported all of the dependencies, um, but what I need to do as well is I need to add a camera for a game creator. So we're going to go to uh, cameras, camera shot, and then we'll select uh, third person. And you know, we've got, um, this is all of our basics. I would like to, I can't remember which one it was. Uh, maybe let's have a look um, anyway I could be entirely entirely wrong uh, but yeah let's uh, let's have a quick look I think it was something like this um, then I want zoom to be disabled always bugs me a bit and uh, let's have a quick look um, and yeah this obviously is the default uh, game creator one um, yay you know it's uh, yeah this is the default this is what we're used to so when we're walking, well, you know, we, we all know it. So cool. Um, let's uh, change that to the other side because that bugs me. Um, awesome. So we've got all of our basics now. So let's transform this to uh, become part of, uh, you know, motion matching. So um, we've got our wizard here. Um, we can actually just drag this to the side maybe make it a tiny bit bigger there we go so this will automatically check for dependencies and as you can see there's um, tons of optional things so we're all good um, I did install an optional animation pack because it's just really really nice um, which is this one so movement anim set pro I'm pretty sure yeah that's the one I have cool <laughs> just checking the name cool uh, integration um, so let's install that. Uh, you don't have to do that, by the way. These are called optional for a very good reason. Um, but as you can see, it recognizes, yay, all good. Um, if there's an issue, it will tell you exactly what the issue is as well. Uh, Game Creator 2, obviously it's installed because I'm using it. We just need to uh, install the uh, integration. There we go. So let's do that. And yeah, then yet again, of course, um, recheck uh, dependencies <clears throat> and we're all good. Perfect. Um, then we're going to go to uh, character setup. I just wanna be clear, um, these are optional, you don't need to do it. Obviously it's, you know, with some comprehensive animation sets is nicer. Um, have a look at this one as well. Um, it's from the same developer um, and they really match the more um, you know, stylized, low poly, cartoony uh, characters, which I use for, you know, most of my videos. Um, so I'll definitely have a look myself. Um, so yeah, um, have a look at that as well. Cool, so here, um, this is quite important. So first of all, we need to update the existing character. Um, I know it says experimental, don't worry too much about that. 
Um, here we drag in the player, it will automatically drag in this. And for the model prefab, it will literally ask you about the actual model. So how do we find the model? Let's go to the inspector. Um, so you just click on the avatar and you will automatically go to the model. Um, and then drag in the model, yay. Um, Game Creator 2 is using the input manager, not the input system, by the way. Uh, then we need to set up ground layers. So, um, well, by default, it's going to be default. Um, and we'll, we'll have a look at the other two in, uh, other two in a bit. Um, then we're going to be setting up um, the actual animation selector. Yay, let's go. And yeah, movement and set pro because that's the one I have. Again, you don't need to have that, but um, I think this um, one of these is, uh, I think this one is the one um, that is um, part of motion matching by default. Um, and then yeah, we'll enable this as well. So again, need to, the same model. Um, so that also means that if you change the character model of the player, um, then you'll just need to drag in those new models again. Nothing else really changes. Cool. Um, then uh, parkourable layers, uh, for now also just default. Um, and yeah, I think that's it, unless I miss something and then we'll we'll figure it out <laughs> real fast. Uh, cool, so at the scene, okay. Okay, so on the player, um, we'll need to do something as well. So as you can see, a bunch of new components. Don't worry, you don't have to do anything with this. Um, then when we go to animation, we've got inverse kinematics and we do need to disable uh, these. So this one doesn't need to be enabled, uh, disabled. Uh, however, motion matching already does it themselves. So if you are going to turn this on, um, I would lower the values a bit because it's going to be a bit much otherwise, but yeah, it doesn't cause any issues. So, you know, it's up to you. Then before we actually do this, I think I forgot to enable the, yeah, I forgot to enable the Game Creator 2 integration. Um, really, really clever. Um, so we need to keep these two enabled as well. And then uh, add the scene. Uh, hopefully that works. Otherwise I'll just do it again. Um, and that's okay. And yeah, that works. Okay, luckily I didn't have to do it again. So as you can see, um, we already have some default movement set up uh, for the controller, which is actually really awesome. So sprinting, jumping, um, all of that is actually already part of it. So nothing extra to set up. And as you can see, this is really, really cool. Um, you know, Grand Theft Auto 5, Assassin's Creed, they all had movement like this. Now, how do we properly put this to the test? Um, or because we're going to do that. <laughs> um, let's have a look at some of the um, the default. Um, where is it? Demo. Demo prefabs. Um, so we're going to be adding uh, the demo prefab uh, scene, which is pretty cool. Um, however, maybe I missed a step. Um, we are missing two layers. So let me quickly um, let me quickly add those to the player. Um, so we've got grounder only, grounder ignore in these layers. So let's make sure we do that. Um, and then da -da -da, on the, uh, the character, so we're going to select uh, grounder ignore as well. And then on the motion matching, we're going to do grounder only. Um, and Let's see if that works. Okay. Um, that's pretty awesome that I can just keep updating this without any issue. Yeah, okay, cool. I know we could have done it here as well, but I prefer just using the config. Uh, config. Uh, it's just much easier. Cool, so let's um, drop in a prefab environment. So there's a couple. So we've got um, in the default locomotion demos, prefabs, we've got the default environment. However, we've got the parkour package as well, so we're going to literally drop that in. Um, make sure it's all set to zero, of course. Let's get rid of our plain, um, boring old plane. Uh, as you can see, it's quite <laughs> it's quite the environment. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, let's have a quick look. 
there we go um, so yeah I think let's start off with uh, some of the basics um, this is a uh, local motion controller layered on top of the game creator one um, meaning we've got all of our defaults already set up so we've got crouch um, we've got um, so crouching in general um, with the speed adjustment uh, we've got walking we've got running um, we've got jumping um, which is also used for our parkour interactions uh, by the way um, which are just so so damn cool um, so all of those are already set up so once you've done the config um, you actually skip ahead of a lot of the you know the things that would be uh, needed with um, you know the default setup of game creator 2 I know it's just a couple of triggers um, but it's actually really nice and saves a bit of time um, that you don't have to uh, set up all of these basic things um, which I really really love um, so let's have a look at um, what these layers do so when it comes to the layers so we had those grounded layers and then basically you don't have that weird effect when you're running down the camera will just um, totally destroy you <laughs> um, and yeah it, it looks really natural it looks really good um, so we're really properly walking these steps not just hovering um, which is really really nice um, so yeah, just really cool stuff sweet so um, let's have a look at what this means in terms of level design and I think this is something that can be um, easily overlooked um, but I think it's just really cool so when it comes to the level design what allows us to climb objects fault objects uh, things like that is simply the layer they have so the layer that we set up um, for the player in the uh, config and then um, you know the layer you set up on the object and that's it you know you, you don't really need to do anything else um, no additional scripts are necessary um, no you know triggers actions conditions it, it's just just layers and you're done um, which makes level design uh, a lot easier uh, a whole lot easier um, obviously if you don't want objects to be interactable for the parkour stuff um, you know you just um, you know change the layers add a different layer um, interactable non-interactable change it to wherever you want um, so yeah really really nice um, really um, you know really a time saver in terms of level design and not just a time saver it just makes the, the entire process just so much easier just switch a layer if you want something to be included yes or no so yeah I, I don't think the level design part can really be overlooked um, it, it's it makes things uh, a much better experience um, for your uh, development so yeah really cool um, and yeah that's it uh, pretty much for the controller so yeah we've got great movement um, we've got um, really cool uh, parkour stuff um, it looks great it feels natural it, it, it just feels really good um, and yeah you can change the look of feel of course with different animation sets sweet so let's have a look at um, when it comes to the, the triggers, actions, and conditions. So let's add one here. Um, so uh, game creator trigger. Um, input. Where's input? I misspelled input. Uh, key down. Yeah, there we go. So um, just to uh, just to highlight a difference again, um, we're going to do this. Um, we're going to do some uh, run conditions. Let's create some conditions. There we go. Um, and then if it's enabled uh, on the player, then uh, if we press Q. Um, it's going to switch to game creator um, and then if it's um, not enabled um, then we are switching to MMLC now this trigger in general uh, this action sorry um, will be necessary if you want to use for example um, melee so you make sure you transition back to game creator whenever you perform a melee uh, input um, and you know we because we have this transition it, it's just really smooth um, looks just really good um, so yeah important to uh, to keep in mind um, then 
uh, there we go um, then when it comes to the other actions and I'm just going to highlight them I'm not going to use them all um, you know we can um, we can change uh, a whole lot so when it comes to the sprinting strafing uh, crouching all of these things by default are enabled um, we can toggle these off um, well, teleport as you can see um, but we can actually say yes yes you know have crouch in here yes or no um, same with sprinting same with all of these things you want to have a level of control over those and they're all here um, if you want to change like properties in general from um, from the player you can do that um, but you can also just change entire uh, config files um, which is a bit much but it's awesome that it's there uh, force walk yeah you know there's all, all of the the essentials are here basically um, but let's just have a quick look uh, one last look at it again just so we have a proper comparison um, I'm pretty sure I did it right so um, let's just do the basic movement and then the turnaround oh, really nice just so smooth cool um, then I'm going to do a Q um, then we have the game creator controls and this has nothing to do with game creator by the way this is just how mecha min, mecha min I can't pronounce it anyway just how the default animation system um, used by uh, unity works um, that's just how it is there's you know not much about it that's just how uh, just just how the system is um, now when it comes to the default controls obviously we didn't set up any trigger so can't really compare uh, jumping or anything like that um, but yeah, it's a uh, it's completely different movement and um, You know as you can see it's a smooth really smooth switch um, Back to MMLC and then we can switch it out. So that's why you don't really have to be worried about uh, when using it with uh, With melee for example. Well at the moment. I think that's the only limitation I can see or for gestures um, Because you know, it's such a such an easy transition to do so yeah really happy with this um it's just a really cool system and i'm uh, i'm glad it's uh, i'm glad it's finally here for game creator 2 as well so thanks for watching everyone and i will see you in the next one